Ms. Blackburn, do you wish to be recognized? Okay, then uh, Mr. Gingrey. Mr. Chairman, thank you. <clears throat> Mr. Chairman, I want to uh, congratulate you for uh, your work on this important issue, and I realize that work goes back at least 10 years. I'm one of the new members of this committee and missed a lot of the hearings, uh, but understand the importance of this issue, especially in trying to uh, stop uh, new smoking uh, uh, our, our youth and our teenagers, I think, is extremely important. Having said that, though, I don't plan on voting for your bill uh, because I think there is a better, a better plan, and, and that's uh, uh, the, the amendment in the nature of a substitute that Mr. Booyah is going to present, the Youth Prevention Tobacco Harm Reduction Act. Uh, Mr. Chairman, the Family Smoking Prevention and Tobacco Control Act would add the regulation of tobacco and tobacco products to an already long list of FDA, FDA oversight responsibilities. Human and veterinary drugs, biological products, medical devices, our nation's food supply, cosmetics, and products that emit radiation. Over the past two years, this committee has held numerous he hearings highlighting the failure of the FDA to carry out its current responsibilities. And most recently, and I was at that hearing, in my home state of Georgia, a breakdown in FDA oversight partially contributed to the distribution of salmonella tainted peanut products, which sickened more than 677 people in 45 states and caused at least nine deaths. Mr. Chairman, this committee should heed the warnings of the past. People understand the dangers of tobacco. What they don't understand is why a child should die from eating a peanut butter and jelly sandwich. We need to keep the FDA focus first and foremost on products that should be safe. And uh, with that, Mr. Chairman, uh, I'll yield back and I thank you. Thank you very much.